chapter 5 descriptive study designs so now we are going to study designs of epidemiological studies so the first question that we should ask did investigator assign the exposure that means the researcher or uh, principal investigator uh, can he choose that which group will have exposure or which will not have exposure or uh, whether it is in his hand to assign exposure if answer is yes that means it is an experimental study it is an interventional study if it is no that means investigator will just observe it so it is an observational study uh, now let us first see uh, if it is uh, experimental study whether random allocation was done or not if it is yes it is a randomized controlled trial if it is not done it is a non randomized controlled trial now coming to observational study first question that should be asked here now is whether there are comparison groups if answer is no that means it is a descriptive study if answer is yes that means it is an analytical study right i mean descriptive study asks that what is the unit of the study whether it is done on individual basis or it is done on a group basis or population basis if it is population basis we call it as ecological study if it is individual basis on a single case we call it as case report more than 10 cases uh, which are very similar it is case series or it is uh, across a uh, one point uh, we, we are studying all the cases that is cross sectional if it is analytical then ask what is the direction of the study whether we are following from exposure to outcome then we call it as cohort whether we are following from outcome to exposure that is case control and with a we are following both the things at the same point of time that is the analytical version of cross sectional study so this flow chart is very important from my point of view because it answers so many uh, mcqs it also helps us to decide in our own research studies uh, that uh, we want to perform so let us answer some mcqs which of the following is wrong about descriptive study it describes the study outcome for one group that is true it compare the outcome for two groups there are not never two groups in descriptive study it is always in analytical study so b is a wrong statement here uh, we can calculate the incidence from surveillance data uh, that is true we can calculate prevalence from cross sectional study that is also true in a tertiary care hospital a surgeon collected information on quality of life and outcome of a small group of post operative patients after using a new surgical device but this is not sufficient to establish efficacy of surgical device why because there is no comparison group that is true there is no information of risk factor we do not have details of outcome we do not have individual level data when you want to establish efficacy of a new intervention there has to be a comparison group descriptive epidemiological study design can answer all of the following questions except who when where but it cannot answer why so descriptive epidemiological study design will answer that who is responsible when it has happened where it has happened but it cannot decide why it has happened so causation is Uh, not answered in descriptive epidemiological study a researcher can assess following conducting uh, following by conducting descriptive study except population in which disease were prevalent true period in which disease has occurred true risk factor uh, cannot be uh, assessed by a descriptive study uh place distribution of disease that is true so basically descriptive study describes any disease in time place and person so uh, distribution of disease among people so person yes population which disease were prevalence uh place distribution so yani place is there population mean person is there and period means time is there so time uh place and person that is okay descriptive study can answer that but risk factors no it cannot answer that